This is lung tissue, principal organ of the respiratory system. Uh, we're looking at uh, alveoli or air sacs of the lung. And uh, if we go down to higher power, uh, we see there are two major cells that are associated with the construction of the alveolar air sac. And uh, there one is a larger cell, such as this cell here. That's a pneumocyte and then other very small cell, this, the, uh, this would be pneumocyte type 1 or simple squamous cell and this would be pneumocyte type 2 which is a surfactant secreting cell. The uh, tubular structures in the airways of the lungs uh, are two that we need to recognize. Here's the small bronchiole and the bronchiole is characterized by the uh, presence of uh, cuboidal epithelium. This is cu cuboidal to columnar. Here's some uh, cuboidal here, columnar here, and we don't see any supporting cartilage in the wall. They lie right next to the air sacs or alveoli of the lungs. We look further, uh, we'll see a larger structure. We'll go to scanning to see that. And here's a large airway. And this large airway would be uh, a bronchus. And it would be characterized by pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium and hyaline cartilage in the wall. So we'll go down and take a look at that epithelium. And uh, the epithelium is uh, recognized by the fact that the nuclei are at different levels and there are cilii on the top, that pseudostratified ciliated columnar epithelium, and the hyaline cartilage with its ground glass blue appearance and the chondrocytes in the lacuna. There's also a vessel in the lungs, it would be a blood vessel, and we need to be able to recognize that. And uh, this could be one here, it looks like blood in it if we look at the wall, and the uh, epithelium is simple squamous, then uh, we could say that we uh, have a, a blood vessel, and this wall is lined with simple squamous endothelium, and so this is a blood vessel found in the interior of the lung tissue.